So hello and welcome to uh, Filmixologist, the place on the internet thingy where junk keeps coming in by the lot. Uh, so following on from last week's episode, which I've discussed about the economics of buying kind of mixed lots or not, now I've got hey, another lot of junk. You can see a pattern developing here. Let's dig into this box and see what have we got here, which uh, incidentally I I think I know what's in the box, but I'm not too sure <laughs> what's in the box. So, as, as anything is gonna be is gonna be useful for me to understand, you know what I'm what I'm dealing with. So here we go. Let's unbox this and and see all the goodies that await. Okay, so here we go. One fuel bowl. And another. Okay, so what we got here is quite a neat sort of piece of equipment, which is a marine carb that has the um, the annular kind of boosters, cathedral style fuel bowls, and a completely broken choke. Great. So let's have a look at the second one. Okay, so so what we've got here really is another marine cub and I'm going to show you why I know it was a marine cub because the J pipes have been completely cut off as you hear here and here. Uh, so this cub has got one, maybe two issues. Uh, look, I mean the choke has been eliminated which that isn't a problem but uh, this isn't secure. So I think we might have a few issues here. So let's have a look at the last one now. Okay, so here we go. Yet another Marine Cub. So this is Marine Cub Festival. Uh, this one is a little bit in distressed condition because it doesn't move very well. Ooh. Yeah, so this one is, is a bit, the shaft is solid, frozen solid here. So that could be a problem. Okay, so to do a bit of a kind of recap of what we have, uh, we've got three marine calves here, and actually, I think uh, this one is, I haven't got the listing here, but the listing follows on from a Ford line, so this must be a moat, some sort of motorcraft. Um, sort of carburetor. Obviously, my, my manual goes until uh, 89. It's quite an old manual. I need to get a new one. Uh, this one is definitely a much newer model uh, of marine carb, um, but it's still it's still a 600 CFM carb. And this one again, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it in the manual, but it follows on for a marine 302 engine, which kind of makes sense. So it could be either F Ford or GM. I think it's probably more Ford uh, marine marine based carb. 
So now what I need to do is, obviously I need to get <clears throat> a manual that is a bit more up to date than this one, uh, dare I say. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to start the process um, of rebuild. Uh, but what I want to do is I, I did say about the booster. So I want to give you a bit of a, a bit of a flavor how how that works. Okay, so what, I, what I've got in my hands here is the three different types of, of, of Holly boosters, or the most common types of Holly boosters, shall I say. And what, what you see illustrated in here is two of them, two different types. So let me show you a bit closer so we see the difference. So this unit here is an example of, of, of what you've got here which are boosters that that Holly calls the annular discharge. So basically the the fuel comes in through here and you can see holes there, 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 all across the booster. And that is kind of why it's called annular discharge booster. Then you have got your down leg booster, which the fuel comes here and goes down the leg which is which is not what this one have got but this you see on kind of performance out automotive carbs and then you've got the your traditional standard straight booster which the fuel comes here through here and is what you see in this unit and this unit over here which are functionally the same carbs kind of thing so i just wanted to show you that a little bit of kind of collaboration details uh, for you to to understand kind of where they come from generally this sort of booster is the most efficient so <clears throat> this this car is obviously the newest of the bunch because it came standard with your kind of annular discharge boosters but anyway i'll do some more digging and see if i can if i can find exactly the application of this car because in marine cars this is quite important so as you can see, I've got <clears throat> my workout out here. Um, so, but at least you got a preview of the content uh, that'll be kind of coming up on the channel uh, in future episodes. Um, and as you can see, um, I've got plenty of uh, material for boat owners, uh, so I can rescue their boats and make them live again, uh, which is always nice. I want to say thank you very much for watching this episode. If you've got any questions, put it down in the comments and I'll see you in the next episode.